Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today, Thursday the 19th of September. Before we get started, as always, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, let's have a look at what's happened in yesterday's market. We'll start off in Canada. We saw the CPI number come in at negative 0.1%. That was better than the forecast. At the moment, the Canadian dollar is really being bossed around by the US and the oil situation. Uh, so not much movement uh, yesterday for the Canadian dollar. Uh, it did lose a bit of ground against the US. From uh, London uh, in the UK, we saw CPI come in at 1.7%. That missed the mark, uh, not by a lot. Uh, the forecast was 1.8%. The UK dollar at the moment, other than the Brexit situation, uh, it is uh, in anticipation of its monetary policy uh, statements and decisions, which will take place tonight. So not much movement for the sterling overnight. The big news happened in the wee hours of this morning. Uh, well, first of all, we had the crude oil inventories coming at 1.1 million barrels. That was uh, worse than the forecasted. But really, all the attention was about FOMC, the economic projections, the statement, and the interest rate decision. Well, for those of you who do not know, the interest rates were cut. They were widely expected to be cut. Uh, they were cut by 25 basis points. Um, however, in saying that, two of the members voted against a rate cut in what was seen as a, a hawkish rate cut, if you can see it that way, uh, the U and consequently the US dollar benefited from that. The Fed Reserve in their statement made mention that the labor market um, and the household spendings are strong and um, job gains are solid and economic growth is moderate. All in all, it was a positive day for the US dollar. Even though there was a rate cut, it was widely anticipated, so a lot of it was factored in already, and the accompanying statements gave it that hawkish nature. Um, US yen currently trading at 108.40. All right, let's have a look at uh, our chart of the day. Incidentally, yesterday's chart, Aussie Kiwi, we have triggered, we have an open position there. We're slightly in front on that one, so let's see how that one plays out. That's the Aussie Kiwi on a daily time scale. Uh, this morning's chart of the day is, it's a Euro CAD on a four hour time frame. If you look at this chart, the market has come up to this resistance level a number of times. I'm indicating there one, two, three, four, and we are there again for a fifth time. The question is, will the level hold or will it progress through. When I zoom in on this one, so I'll just zoom in a little bit tighter, I can see that I have already produced my inside candle pattern and in fact this candle that I'm pointing at right now, which is about two hours, halfway through its formation, remember we're on a four hour time frame here, um, has already triggered on the downside so effectively we have an open position. If you're seeing this late you actually got an opportunity to enter at a better price than the actual trigger price. So let's see how this one plays out for us. So I have an open position, EuroCAD, four hour time frame. Let's see what this one provides for us. All right, what's happening in the markets for the session, which is about to kick off? It's actually a lot of data for this session, so it's very, very filled uh, in terms of uh, volatility. We'll start off locally at 11.30 uh, with our employment change and our unemployment rate. This will affect our Aussie dollar. Throughout the day, there's no scheduled time from Japan. They are releasing their monetary policy statements and uh, also the, BO, the Bank of Japan's press conference release. So that was unscheduled. Typically, it could happen around about 1 o'clock uh, Sydney time, just to give you an, an indicator. 6.00. 30 this evening from the UK, we, they released their retail sales. Then the big one at 9 o'clock from the UK, it's their interest rates decision, the monetary uh, policy summary, and also the official bank rate vote. So if it's a unanimous in one direction, it usually signals um, obviously that it's a united front in the decision in, in the way that they want to move the country forward relating to their monetary policies when it's split it can create a little bit more volatility so that happens at nine o'clock let's see if 
the UK will cut rates or not, or will they maintain, and more importantly, what specifically they will mention in their summary. Finally, at 10.30 from the US, it's the Fed Manufacturing Index number, which is due out. That pretty much wraps up the session. Guys, as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow for The Daily Call. Bye for now.